back out at the American Tobacco Trail in Durham. Uh, today, instead of starting at the Herndon entrance where I started last week, I'm going to start at the uh, South Point entrance, which is where I made it last time. Um, the trail from here to downtown Durham is a lot flatter, so I should be able to practice some technique and uh, hopefully get a little further. Um, I got really, really tired last time uh, and I only got four miles and I'm really hoping that this time I can go up to 10. I was able to get a lot of great feedback from uh, the R Rollerblading uh, Reddit and uh, I'm going to try to work on my technique. Uh, the double push uh, is something that um, is kind of a, a, a mainstay in long distance skating uh, and it's something that I've never heard about so you know years of hockey skating and aggressive skating have not prepared me for this but um, I'm gonna give it a shot I tried a few in uh, in my neighborhood and I think I have the concept down um, but this is going to be a good opportunity to do it over some longer distance and uh, really get comfortable with it wish me luck Trying to do the uh, the double push and keep my feet on the ground. One of the Reddit commenters suggested that if I keep my feet on the ground, I can get the technique a little easier. Uh, feels pretty good. I mean, I can feel like I'm accelerating even though my feet aren't leaving, which I think is the the goal. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how. We'll see how far I can go without killing myself. And just a few, few minutes in and I can really feel it in my quads. It's like muscles that I haven't used. I think it's gonna work, but yeah. <laughs> I need to practice. One of the cool things about this trail is it used to be a train track. So, uh, you know, the, the train used to bring coal up to downtown Durham for processing the tobacco. Uh, but they built a trail in these people's backyards. So you can see here, one of the neighbors made a little uh, a little bridge to get over so that they could enjoy the trail when it's raining. This section of the trail is extremely straight, so I can really practice those strides. But it's <laughs> it's also uphill. It's gonna be fun to come back down, but it's, it sucks, it sucks going up. So this is the Solite Park entrance, right up here, and we started down here. So I'm not really sure how, how far that is, but I'm gonna keep going. So I'm about maybe halfway, I don't know, 
I don't want to jinx it, but um, I'm actually feeling pretty good. The initial skating without lifting my legs thing, I totally understand how that would be a good exercise to strengthen your legs. Man, it was killing my quads. Which probably means that I need to do it more often, but I'm going to stop doing that for a little bit so that I can get a little further. I'm at the point now where the trail turns into like an urban area. It goes right next to, uh, what is this, Fayetteville? And you can see over in the corner there's a, a Lowe's uh, hardware store. It's a school. This is really the, uh, oops, push the button. Oh, and push it the other way. This is really a interesting, interesting place where you have to stop and look, look for stop signs and push buttons to cross. There's just traffic everywhere. I don't know how far I am to downtown, but I think I'm going to make it. I don't know that I'm going to make it back, <laughs> but I'm going to make it. Another amazing thing about the tobacco trail is just the natural beauty of North Carolina. I mean, look at it. downtown almost done Beautiful downtown Durham. So there I am. All the way down. Oh Lord. That's six miles, seven miles. Uh, so the trail actually kept going a little bit. Or I should say the train tracks. They uh they ended there for the trail because they turned this into the American Tobacco Campus. So this is now businesses and restaurants. There's a startup uh, incubator on the ground floor. The uh, Art Institute. And the old Lucky Strike where they kept the water so that they could power the steam to dry out the tobacco. Uh, fans of Mad Men might remember Lucky Strike as the first couple of seasons, their big client. And uh, Don Draper always used to say, oh, going down to Raleigh Durham. There's no such thing as Raleigh Durham. Raleigh Durham is our airport. This is Durham. Raleigh's, Raleigh's way over there. If you've seen Bull Durham, you know the Durham Bulls. This isn't actually the stadium that they played at. They, they opened this stadium like 10 years ago. It's a triple-A ball team now. Uh, used to be single-A. The old stadium's still there, but uh, I think they use it for a single-A team still. Uh, but uh, it's definitely not, it's definitely not this nice.
the only thing left from the old bowl stadium is the uh, hit the bowl to win the stake. <laughs> right next to the tobacco campus and the Durham Bowl Stadium is the Durham Performing Arts Center. My wife and I are season ticket holders and next year we get Hamilton. I will not throw away my shot to be in the room where it happens. Well thanks for coming on this journey with me. Uh, if you ever have a chance to get out to uh, Durham please do. It's an amazing city, uh, great culture, lots of amazing food and things to do and uh, obviously pretty killer trail. See you next week.